Hey everybody, this is Mark from Northwest Bourbon. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about FOMO bottles. Top 5 FOMO bottles. Now what is FOMO? <laughs> FOMO is the fear of missing out. Now Dara from The Average Drinker challenged us all to make a FOMO video of what bottles did you buy because you feared you would miss out on it if you did not buy it right then. Now to me, the FOMO hit me in a couple different ways because sometimes you think that it's just a hot bottle right now and so you better grab it because other people are gonna grab it and you don't know when you're gonna see them again. Other times there's special releases that is like maybe a single barrel or something that you know if you don't get it right now, you will not be able to get it again. And another FOMO that came to mind is you know that there might be a price difference coming up in the future and you don't wanna miss out on either buying it now while it's cheaper or waiting for the price to go down. And so the fear of missing out is missing out on getting a good deal on it. Now when it comes to those distillers special releases, my first picks on the FOMO list is the Woodenville special releases that I went with uh, Marvin from Whiskey Wine 101. They had a special barrel offerings where you had to get tickets to go there on those days to get these special releases. There was only one barrel of each of the three flavors, and so if you didn't get a ticket and get up there and get it that day, you would be out of luck. And Marvin and I don't want to miss out on a special release of Woodenville, and so we jumped on it, fear of missing out. And it was absolutely 100% worth it. These are absolutely delicious. These are fantastic. The Calvados, the Marsala, the orange wine one was good too. I didn't get one of those, and so I missed out on that one. So my first selection in this fear of missing out top five is a special release from a distillery that I know that once they're gone, they are gone. All right, now that was a positive. What about a negative? The next one on my list is Bardstown Disco 6. Now last year, almost every whiskey reviewer that I follow had Disco 6 on their top 10 list. Almost all of them did. Not all of them, but almost. And so I went around looking for it, couldn't find it at any stores around my area, so I started searching online, finally found one that after tax and shipping was $150. And I got it, and I was like, by what whiskey is actually in the bottle, what I'm tasting, doesn't taste like something I would spend over $100 on. And so my fear of missing out caused me to overpay for a, for a bottle. I think it's good. It's not offensive to drink. It's really good whiskey. I just don't feel like it's worth the price I paid for it, and I paid that price because of my fear of missing out. Okay, number three on my FOMO list is the Jack Daniels Hero Selection. I saw it on base one day, and I had never seen it before, and I got really excited about it. When I read the box, I saw a manager at Jack Daniels is a Navy veteran who hand-selected a barrel pick and it was only available on base and at duty-free stores. And so I got excited thinking this was gonna be the only one that I ever saw. So I bought two of them. But what I didn't know is that a few months later, I would find it at the store again, but it'd be from a different barrel number and a different proof. I didn't know that they were gonna come out with these once a quarter. And so next thing I know, I keep buying them. So every time I see one now, I buy it because I think that if I miss out, on the new release, I'm gonna miss out on a really good one because some of them are a lot better than the other ones as you find in most single barrel offerings. So my fear of missing out on one of these really good hero selections keeps me buying more just to go on top of the initial fear of missing out because I didn't know there was gonna be multiple offerings at first. So that's why the Jack Daniels hero selection makes my number three in the fear of missing out. A pretty similar story with my number four, Castle and Key. Now when I saw Castle and Key batch one on the shelf and I knew that it was in the spotlight as a new release under the brand name Castle and Key as a bourbon under their own name and especially with this gorgeous bottle, I knew it was in high demand. So I grabbed batch one without even thinking about it. But when it comes to the whiskey inside of this beautiful bottle, it's not really worth the price point. Now if I knew a couple months later batch two would be out, then batch three, then batch four, I don't even know what batch they're on now, but they keep pumping out the new batches like clockwork. And so I really didn't need to rush out and get batch one now, did I? But I had a fear of missing out. <laughs> now these next two bottles tie at fifth place because they have a very similar story. When I saw Kentucky Owl on base 
I was like, whoa, I've never seen Kentucky out on base. Now this is the confiscated and it was at $103 out the door. So I said to myself, if I bought this off base after tax and everything, it would cost me way more than 103. And so I'm gonna jump on it now because you almost never see Kentucky Owl on base. And it turns out it was the right move because just a month or two later, we went back to the same store and the same bottles on the shelf were now priced at $135. And so I saved over $30 by buying it when I did. Now, do I think this tastes like $130 whiskey? Absolutely not. I think it should be priced at under 100 but that's not what we're talking about here. It's happy with the purchase because I got it when I did. If I had waited, I would have spent more money on it or not have gotten to try it at all. Now, in comparison to that price jump, the Frank Sinatra Select from Jack Daniels. Now look at that, that is just gorgeous. It is a one liter bottle of the special Frank Sinatra Select. It's got a little Frank Sinatra book in there and all that kind of fun stuff in this big heavy box. Now me being a Sinatra fan, I wanted to get it. But the first time I saw it, it was $175 and I didn't think that was worth it and so I passed on it. Next time I saw it at the store, it was 187. And then just a couple weeks ago, I went on base and it was on sale for $150 out the door and I jumped on it. So my fear of missing out was met with some restraint saying, that's too high of a price for that bottle. I'm gonna wait and I'm glad I did because just being patient for a few more months, it went on sale and I got a great deal on it. And I'm really looking forward to trying it. So if there are any bottles that you have purchased because you feared you would miss out on it if you didn't buy it right then and there, whether it turned out to be a good thing or a bad thing, or maybe your patience pulled off, let me know in the comments what your FOMO purchases are or if you make a video yourself, let me know in the comments and I'll come over and check it out. If you like talking whiskey, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, earn, protect, enjoy. Cheers.